coffee time. Welcome to this week's video. Uh, the topic matter is going to be the bitterns. I think it's the last couple of chances I'm going to have for the bittern. I've done a, invested a few sessions, morning and evenings. It seems as if the evenings are a little bit more successful. It's quite bright today, so there's an opportunity, a possibility they may come and sun themselves. So that's that's going to be the topic matter of, of this. But whilst we've been out here, we've been seeing some great crested grebes. It looks as if they're um, starting to uh, think about doing their courtship. I managed to catch it a few times. seen one take on a massive uh, carp or quite a big carp compared to the size to the size of it and uh, yeah some herons and other such matters but I think I'm only going to concentrate uh, for this video uh, with the uh, the bittern as it's like I say it's gonna be the last opportunity so the rest of the weekend we're probably gonna have a look at trying to um, do some uh, research for uh, the hares probably go to find some out this afternoon uh, for that Sit local ponds for the kingfishers, yeah, and uh, yeah, up to the common to see whether the um, skylarks are starting to, to gather. So, yes, um, should be quite an interesting weekend at least. Uh, the weather's improved earlier in the week, we had the snow, so yeah, it makes for a, it's a cold uh, but a, a lovely weekend. So, yeah, let's see what comes from this hide, uh, which is a, a public hide. The, the island rebed is absolutely unbelievable well, it's a way off and uh, you can spot them just if you know where you're looking and to get them to video them I'm on, I'm on maximum here the quality is not very good but you can you can spot them what I'm massively impressed with is the fact that they're almost they're almost elevated here holding on to four or five of the reeds to hold them up into the reed bed. But yeah, you at least get a little bit of a, a view of them and how well they're hidden during the day. Here, another public hide where you can get a much closer view of them if they show is Till Hide and you can see that uh, the trust has put a lot of effort into maintaining this rebed and trying to improve it. And whilst I was concentrating, waiting for dusk to arrive, I noticed in the corner of my eye this crested grebe who looked as if he had a meal that was much too big for him, but. Uh, he seemed massively determined. A carp. Difficult to estimate, probably one pound plus, one and a half pounds. And I'm looking at his mouth and the carp at his broadest point thinking that is no way going to fit. But he seemed to have other ideas. This sequence was shot over about five, maybe more minutes. Cut it down here. But eventually, wetting its mouth on frequent occasions to lubricate it it managed to slide down. Well, I don't think he'll need to feed for some time. It was quite a long wait for the bitten to show and he was then right off in the corner and actually it was really quite difficult to spot. Fortunately there was I was joined by a, 
another couple of birdies and uh, it's always great if you've got another couple of eyes, another couple of pair of eyes in the hide. And you look here to see how well their camouflage works and coming out quite late in the evening just really helps them. Quite interestingly, uh, whilst preparing this video I noticed that Mike Lane, another really well-known um, bird photographer, videographer, had put out a video about the most difficult birds uh, to photograph and uh, predominantly the subject matter was bitten, um, although if you watch the video I'll put the link um, down below, he mentions the fact that he felt that the SETI's warbler was probably the most difficult to, to, to video, but in essence he was saying how now the bittern weren't really uh, in the forefront of his mind purely and simply because they've you know since the 1970s 80s and beyond they've they've started to increase you, you're more likely to be able to to see them now here the work that they do here in the uh, Lavelle's um, levels wetland trust is such that uh, they really are trying to uh, increase the the reed um, the reed's depth which is is great for all the bird life but in in, in essence uh, for the bittern now the bittern pretty much um, breeze sort of north east coast but uh, who's to say they have a massive support here uh, improving um, the, the wetland trust another youtuber who I met in the hide here who's just caught some massive um, footage is a guy called Alan I'll, I'll put another link to him because he's got some really interesting behavior documented on his channel so I'll put a link here Myself and Denise did manage to get out to Wiley Mount to have a look at the hares. We saw quite a few actually, um, possibly 12 plus. Uh, light wasn't good, uh, rain came in, which didn't put me in good stead considering uh, it was our anniversary. <laughs> so I'm going to have to probably make up uh, for that one. Sorry Denise. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. And as always, if you join me in the next one, it will be really appreciated.